guys, Cameron Blagan here. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build the electronic core. Uh, so one thing I didn't mention in the first video is uh, another thing you're probably going to want is some nylon mounting hardware. Um, this is just simply these uh, little nylon kind of standoffs with a screw on one end and a uh, kind of nut on the other uh, so you can screw uh, things together. To start off, what we're going to need is three things. Um, and if you want to include the receiver in this one, you can do that also. I'm going to do its own setup so we can uh, kind of tie that in with the controller. Um, but what I have is the uh, diatone video transmitter. Um, and that, the reason it's on this is because it's mountable. Uh, so I thought I'd include it in this set. I have the 4-in-1 uh, 20-amp ESC from Raystar. Um, so going to use that in this set as well as the Lumineer um, Lux flight controller here. Um, and that will obviously also be on the stackable set. Alright, so we're going to open these all up and we're going to see if we can't figure this out. Um, I've also, you can see here, uh, grabbed some motors because in this one um, we may also be setting up uh, the motors on the uh, ESC because it involves uh, soldering them on there um, because I would like to mount this below the flight controller. So um, this is going to kind of get put into a later video. I'm just including it so you can see that it mounts on top of these. You've got uh, leads on here for a battery connector, which I will be soldering on. Um, and on here, you can see uh, you've got a one, two, three, and four, um, and that just solders on uh, these. So now, while it does have, um, as you can see, a uh, some wires already here for battery straight on there, there is no voltage out, um, which I think is a little strange. This is version 1.1, 1 .1, uh, so maybe in another version there will be. Um, but if you did want to connect straight to a, a power distribution board or something, you could use those. Um, but you can also get voltage straight from uh, the signal here, and you can see um, really small. There's S1, S2, S3, S4, positive, negative. Um, so I'm just going to be putting the voltage straight to here um, on the uh, battery and ground uh, pads here on the Lux Flight controller. And there's also a new version of this, um, but this will do just fine. F3 still, so uh, I'm going to be cruising with this until I get a, another one. Um, so battery ground there, and then I'm just going to use the uh, a five volt out and a ground for um, this uh, 20 amp e four in one ESC. So there's several spots on uh, these this flight controller where you can connect this board. Um, to start off, though, what we're going to need to do um, is mount this in the frame so we get the wire size, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut those, and then we're going to take it off for soldering. That makes it just a little bit easier, um, but you can see, again, the S1 is just going to go onto the ESC1, so we might have to do some uh, kind of wire weaving here. Um, and another note is uh, some people like to mount um, this board uh, different directions, but the arrow does indicate the front, meaning that the front is going to be the what would appear to be the side, which is actually nice because then you can plug the USB up to the side and you have your boot button um, easily reachable. All right, so I have um, mounted the Lux Flight Controller onto the uh, nylon spacers here. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and take them off layer by layer. Uh, so you see, I have this on, and on top of all of these, also, um, I'm going to have the diatone. Uh, video transmitter, uh, but I'll do that in a later video. Uh, so I have this on and then I have these nylon spacers on here um, and those are the smallest ones I had in the package I bought and I did have to carve off a little bit actually of the bottom uh, so they would fit around. The so I uh, am just putting this on here uh, just for measurement and another good thing uh, to mention I took off the plastic on the ESC uh, which this is, this is fairly standard uh, to take this off um, and it also already has on here the signal one, two, three, four, plus minus on here, so you don't uh, forget uh, which wire is what, um, as well as revealing the A1, B1, C1, uh, so the motor one, two, three, four uh, numbers, so you know which one to put the motors on. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you how you should do this. So once you get the Lux flight controller on here, or your flight controller on here, again, arrow facing the front. And uh, this isn't a huge deal because if you do mount it wrong, you can adjust it later in clean flight. Um, but arrow facing the front is going to be ideal. Um, and then you're going to just want to take, uh, if you remember from the board below, signal one, and you can kind of see it there. Signal one um, is this for this left orange. So then you're going to find number one. Measure it over there. 
give it a little bit of slack so you can uh, you know get other wires in there if needed um, and you know what I'm actually going to put this underneath uh, because I think it is going to be a uh, little bit easier to solder and then I can it's not in the way of any other channels I'm also going to take number three which happens to be yellow on this one and I'm going to just put it underneath this board on this side so that way I can uh, just solder these kind of just right like that. So you see you're just going to measure that to number three and I like to leave a lot of slack and you're just going to snip that off. Uh, same thing with number one and I again have worked these underneath the flight controller. Uh, you can see they're a little twisted there. Um, I've worked these underneath the flight controller so that it's easier to solder on onto this side. Um, as well as not in the way for the flight controller later. So now we're just going to work our way um, on this side. And you see you've got, so this is signal 2, and this is signal 3. So these wires do kind of end up crossing, not a big deal though. So signal 2 right there, leave a little slack, snip that guy. Now, something interesting about this is you can see it's got a full servo header, not just a single pin header on here. Um, that's because this is where it's going to be getting the 5 volts power. So now I'm just going to go ahead, desolder these wires, strip and solder these wires. And if you don't have a soldering, uh, a, uh, excuse me, a wire stripper this small, uh, what I do is I just take these diagonal cutters and I just kind of lightly uh, cut while rolling this wire between my fingers and then you leave a little uh, mark and then the top just comes right off there of the wire. Uh, so that's how you're going to want to strip these wires. And then before you do anything, I would put a little blob of solder on that because you're not going to want to leave that just hanging out in the open too long because I find that the if it's a lower quality wire, well, this seems to be pretty nice, but lower quality wires seem to lose little bristles, uh, but you should be good here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will get right back to you. Don't forget while you're soldering to tin all your pads um, as well as uh, make sure that the wires go into the correct pin. So another really important part of this build, um, especially with the Lux, uh, this is very specific to the Lux, but other flight controllers or receivers or anything like that uh, might have something like a jumper here. So um, right here you have a 5 and a 3. Uh, so if you're using a uh, receiver that needs 5 volts, which I am, you're going to want to solder the left or the right two pins. Um, if not, you're going to want to solder the left two here. Um, it, and that will go for 3 volts, um, and so there's a few receivers that may need 3 volts, but most of I've seen is 5 volts, uh, so what you're going to want to do is just, uh, you know, solder these together, get this hot, and just jumper the two pins there. Oops. You see you got a little dollop there on the 5 volts, uh, nothing on the 3. Um, and also over here, you got a PPM and a SRX, and that's for serial RX, such as SBUS. Uh, so I'm using an SBUS protocol. So you're going to want to use that side. So again, without hurting anything else, you're going to want to get those hot. And then just jumper those two, just like that. Um, so now you are set up for 5 volts with SBUS. Um, this 5 volts is really bubbly here, and am going to take a little off. But now you are good to go uh, for 5 volts in S-Bus, and that's, again, specific to the Lux, um, and there's lots of other different versions. Uh, I'm started to solder uh, the wires on here, so you can see, I'll flip this back around so you can see the progress I've been making. Just like that. Um, and again arrow towards the front and you can see I've soldered those two on there I'm continuing on the others and if you wanted to leave a little less slack you could uh, but I like to leave about that much alright I'll get back to you as soon as I finish the others alright so you can see I've got everything soldered I've got one two three four I added a ground and five volt there just in case I decide I need anything else later um, and I still have the 
Uh, I have buzzer tinned also in case I decide to add a buzzer, as well as the receiver and five volts out for that receiver. I also added an LED, and you'll see LED and ground on the bottom of the board, um, and that's just this tiny little LED thing here, just three little LEDs, uh, just for some fun effects. Gotta have some lights while you're flying, obviously. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and just shot of the motors onto here, um, and I left this purposely loose uh, so we can look underneath there, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the motors mounted correctly, um, and so how do you know that? You're gonna wanna go one, two, three, four, um, and this ESC board has numbered um, things, so you're gonna want to make sure that one is in the bottom right, and then two, and then this one's actually three, four, so you'll have to crisscross these wires, but that's all right. Uh, so make sure, that's a big part, make sure that is facing the correct direction. Uh, for this one, I'm also going to kind of probably mount these wires just right underneath here, uh, zip tie them to here, to the carbon, uh, maybe put a little bit of a buffer there, and then put them down here. Uh, I don't really like it rubbing up against the carbon, but it's going to have to come under at some point somewhere, uh, so I'll probably just sandpaper down those edges, uh, and then it'll just connect to a XT60 connector. Uh, just so you know, if you're following along with an owl, uh, that's my plan. You could also probably put it through this uh, back hole here, whatever you want to do. Uh, they also do have some spots on here to zip tie straight there, uh, but I think I'm going to end up having to do that in the middle. But we'll see how that goes. And again, LED in the back here. I've got a lot of extra wire here, so I'm probably going to end up uh, cutting this a little bit shorter, um, but that is neither here nor there. So. We're going to now go ahead and solder. Um, first, I'm going to mount the motors, and I'll show you how to do that um, in a separate motor mounting video. Uh, so if you want to know how to do that, click on the card in the upper right corner. Um, but if you are good on that and just want to see how to wire it up, I'm going to go ahead and connect those and then uh, put the motors right onto the ESC. All right, so now that this is set, um, I've taken this off of the little mounting nylon screws so we can uh, get to mounting the um, or wiring these ESCs a little bit better. Um, now it is uh, unfortunately a little, uh, these ones actually over here when you have to crisscross them they seem to reach just fine. I might, gotta, might have to stretch them a little. I actually might end up splicing these just a tad bit to get them to reach. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to add just a little something extra. So, I mean that's normal if you do have to add a little bit of wiring to these um, to switch these and I, um, because of the way they are wired, you could probably switch, um, four and three, the wires for four and three if you really wanted to, um, but I'm just going to stick with what I know will work and that is, um, following the wiring diagram to a T. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Again, if you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you. I'll get back to you after I have wired these, and um, I explained this in the motor mounting video. If you don't watch that, what you're going to want to do is wire these all three, one, two, three, um, in a row, just like that. But if you do want to switch them, you're going to want to switch the outside two wires. I've heard you can switch any wire, but I would just do the outside two. That makes the most sense to me. Um, and then you can get it soldered right on there. All right, I'll get back to you after I've soldered those on. Hey,